Welcome you back. Bottom of the third inning at Joe Wolf Field. No score. Beeble Cats have John Mazza leading it off. Tell you, the last half inning was the Daniel Holt show. Was he? Oh, it was. Oh, unbelievable. And the way the Blue Sox are hitting fly balls, the FAA is going to reroute air traffic around Joe Wolf Field. Just as they did yesterday around yeah. McKenzie Stadium. And now the pitch to Mazza. Misses for a ball, 1-0. Daniel Holst due up third this inning. And the 1-0 pitch to Mazza is popped up. Foul territory. Connor Donovan goes over and makes the catch one away. Plenty of foul room here at Joe Wolf Field. That would have ended up foul at McKenzie Stadium in the stands. There's not a lot of foul room there. A lot here. One of the big differences in the park, comparing these two teams' home stadiums. Batter is the number nine hitter now, Nick Riotto. Yeah, North Ad- Adams and Sanford are the two parks that probably have the most foul room in the NECBL. And the pitch to Riotto in there for a call to strike, nothing in one. Each park is unique in the New England Collegiate Baseball League. The 0-1 pitch in the air to center field. Leftridge going back, and he's not going to get there. It's going to go to the wall. On his way to second is Riotto. He has a one-out double. It's the first base hit of the game for the Steeplecats. Yoto showing some opposite field power. It's the left-handed batter hit it to the deep left center field, marked the ball one around 380 feet in the way, and he just got that pretty much on the tip of the bat, so showing some good opposite field power. Holst hitting that one to the deepest part of the ballpark. So Daniel Holst, who made three catches in the top of the inning. And that's in there for a cold strike. Nothing in one. And if you're the steeple catch, you want Holst up in this situation, run around second and one out, being the good contact hitter he is. The 0 1 pitch misses one and one. Holst was a 336 hitter during the regular season. He was one for five last night. Has not had an official at bat tonight as he drew a walk his first time up. The one one pitch to Holst. And that is fouled away. One and two. And check on the runner at second, and just barely getting back is Riotto. That was a close play. Fortunately for Riotto, too, he hesitated for a split second, and that, and plus the throw was to the first base side of the bag, so that allowed Riotto to get back just in the nick of time. Better throw maybe would have had it. One ball, two strikes on Daniel Holst. Here's the pitch. Swung on through the hole on the left side, on the right side, at the base hit. They're going to wave Riotto around third. Here's the throw home. Not in time. On his way to second is Holst. It's one to nothing. Steeplecat. So not be a single for Holst. And he advances to second on the throw home. So Steeplecat's in business here in the third. And the batter will be Dustin Shirley. So RBI number 15 on the season for Holt. RBI number 15 and his first in the playoff. As Holt has now reached base twice tonight. Something he did not do at all yesterday until the ninth inning. And Holt sits that one in the air to deep right. Grunberg goes back. He makes the catch. And Holt is going to go back to second. Yeah, what happened was Holst started the run on the crack of the bat. The Steeplecats had to hit and run on. Had Holst 
stayed at second base and waited until Grunberg made the catch, he would have easily been able to make it to third base. He probably would have with his speed and Grunberg playing all the way in deep right field to make the catch. But surely dialing long distance once again, showing some good opposite field power. As that was hit to deep right field. Now the pitch to Easton Johnson will have to wait as they check on Holt at second. Easton Johnson 0 for 1 in this game. He grounded out his first time up. Another check on the runner. Now the pitch. And that misses for a ball, 1-0. and Now the 1-0 pitch. Tweeson Johnson jammed him on a pitch inside. He fouls it back, 1-1. One one. Johnson in yesterday's Game was 0 for 3. He's 0 for 1 tonight. Check on Holst. He gets back. As Morris saved that ball from going into the outfield. Yeah, that's a very risky play. The last thing you want to do is air mail the ball into the outfield. And the pitch to Easton Johnson misses for a ball, and the count is now two and one. Now the two one pitch misses three balls and one strike. The last two pitches inside haven't curved at all. That pitch was coming right at. Johnson was supposed to curve at the last second. It didn't. And that is grounded to short. And the throw over to first by Braxton Morris is in time. And the inning is over, but not before the Steeplecats take the lead. They lead it 1-0 as we go to the fourth back after this on the NECBL broadcast.